Right, I'll be showing you today how to make this little interactive spaceship thingy here in a touch designer using uh, my, my iPhone. You can use your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad uh, or any, uh, any device really that sends a MIDI uh, signal to control this ship. We're going to be using the accelerometer on the, on the iPhone so that you get like a nice little interactive spaceship that you can control with your iPhone. So this is it finished. We're gonna go back to the start and, and do all this from scratch. So I'm gonna start by <coughs> deleting everything in our scene and we've got nothing. Um, there. So, first things first, our scene needs to start with a geometry node. We need a camera. To shoot our scene, we need a light to light our scene. And we need a renderer at the top. And we need a renderer to render our scene. And then at the end of this renderer here, I'm going to add a null. And then I'm going to press Alt W to bring up your um, window placement um, editor here. And I'm going to just drag and drop this null onto my monitor 2 and click enable, which will bring it up over on this monitor here so I can see what's happening in my scene over at this screen over here. Right, so at the minute we've got a torus just sitting in empty space. Um, I built in Maya just a simple polygonal uh, mesh of a spaceship uh, which you can then export from Maya as a DAE or an FBX file and then you can import this straight into Touch Designer and it brings in with it all the animation, um, all the all the textures, um, materials, um, yeah, everything. So I'm going to go into I'm going to click on my Geo node and press Enter to go into it. And I'm going to bring my ship in here. Now you can see the screen goes white. That's just because it's um, it's translated real real close. I'm going to delete this torus. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to press U for up into our scene. And the geo node here, I'm going to just translate x to minus 10. And there's our ship right over here. Um, that's our ship. And uh, Michael and Nate knocked up quickly in, um, in motion a little movie of a, a star field. It's just a particle emitter um, simulating stars with some, some nice little effects in there. Just just a quick little thing just to have a background to put our ship on to, to actually simulate us flying through space. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add on this string, I'm going to insert a over node, which then means our ship comes in on top and I'm going to bring this movie in below. So there's our, our, our star, stars there in the background. <clears throat> right, so far so good. Now, when it comes to Touch OSC, this works pretty much instantly with uh, Touch Designer. Uh, what you have to do is you have to set up in Touch OSC, you have to set up your IP address for the host computer that you wanted to connect to, and it, they both need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi. And you can you can find your IP address if you click start and just enter cmd for command. Go in command, and then you just type in IP config, and there's there's my IP address there: one nine two one six eight one seven. You just type that into your 
iPhone or iPod and uh, and you also need to make sure that the outgoing port here well you, you, don't, you just need to know what it is so mine's 10,000 and then when I double click over here to bring in a OSC in shop you can see here that the network port is 10,000 already so when I start moving this around nothing happens I have to actually go into the touch OC so you can see there that the accelerometer is giving you three channels you've got minus 1g and plus 1g on the first axis you've got minus 1g and plus 1g on your second axis and you've got a third axis which is kind of like yeah um, so we'll only be using the XYZ1 and XYZ2 channels to map our um, or spaceship. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to start mapping it translate forward and backwards translate uh, translate to the sides. Um, we've, we, we actually have to make uh, an individual channel for, for each of the abilities we want our ship to have. So I'm going to start with a select and a select shop. Uh, select. I'm going to connect this to here and I want to select the XYZ1 to start with. You just click over here select XYZ1 so there's our forward and backward then I'm going to add a math because we're going to have to adjust the maths of, 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 of this movement and at the end of the string I'm going to end the null for um, just so it's easy to export this, drop export this to whatever attributes we want our ship to have so that's working and then I'm going to go on to my geometry and I'm going to left click on this and choose chop exporter and I'm going to drag and drop this onto the translate Z uh, over here just drag and drop that and choose export chop and now you can see it's back to it's back to zero because that's its default now and then if I move it forward it actually goes in the wrong direction so we're going to have to adjust that with our math node over here so if we click on that <coughs> I know that the range of the accelerometer goes from minus 1g to plus 1g so that's our from range and we want that to go to minus 10 as the lowest and then we'll set minus 100 as the highest which means then this moves back and forth, forth as I move my, my iPhone now it's, it's a bit it's a bit jumpy and the way to solve that problem is either by adding in between our math and our null you could add a filter but I'm going to use a lag chop left click on that and choose insert operator and then choose lag and I wanted to have quite a bit of lag when it's moving backwards and forwards by default it's set to 0 0.2 seconds so I'm actually going to set this to 2 seconds for backwards and try 4 forwards 